Hello everybody, I'm Jenna with Everyday Mystical, and this week I am researching Bogard Key's house in New Orleans. New Orleans! Um, we are at number two for most haunted places in New Orleans, so it's exciting, we're almost done! One more! And in case you hear something, that is my, my child. It's not a ghost. People are going to be like, I heard EVPs. No, it's my child. But anyway, Bogard Key's house is now a museum, but it was built in like 1826, if I'm not mistaken. I'm still researching everything, but um, quickly... Uh, it was named after General Bogard, who, uh, during the Civil War, he lost a very epic battle called the Battle of Shiloh that haunts him to this day, even in death. Um, Shiloh actually means peace in Hebrew, if I'm not mistaken, and, um, it's it's just really sad because uh, nobody won, and over 15,000 people died. Um, and supposedly cops sometimes um, pull up to the to the mansion and they can see flashes of light going on in the house, and people walk by and call the cops as they see light and hear gun gunshots. Um, smell gunpowder even, and uh, and people that have worked there have even seen uh, dead soldiers lying around and, and people fighting, and uh, it's just really sad, and sometimes people hear uh, General Bogard whispering, Shiloh, 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 because he, um, it just tortured him that he lost that battle, and just the war went on. You know, the American Civil War went on way longer than it was supposed to. It was only supposed to be a couple months, um, and he was taken away from his family for a long time. I think his wife died in the process, if I'm not mistaken. And um, you know, he 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 was he was miserable. He only lived in the house for about three years. Um, but he's still there. And uh, Francis Keyes, who's the other part of, of the title of Bogard Keyes' home, is uh, she was an author, and for 25 years in the winter she used to stay there. Um, and my child is going crazy. I'm sorry. He's throwing things now. Um this is my life. Um, so anyway, um, and she used to stay there all the time and, and uh, even used General Bogart as a, as a character in some of her books. You know, she used to supposedly see him all the time. There's also cats and dogs in the house um, that are now still there. And um, as well as other people. So um it's known to be a pretty active place that I would one day love to check out. Um, so next, after I do this, I should get this post out in the next few days or uh, tops this weekend. Um, so hopefully I can put that up soon. Um, I'm going to be working on next top 10 haunted places of, of New York since that's where I live. I might as well do it and hopefully get to go to some of these places. I probably won't go to all of them, but some definitely. I would, I would love to go and take my own pictures and even get to go inside if I can. Um, some places won't let you, but we'll see what we can do. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Check in next week with me and subscribe to my channel. I will also put down at the bottom an information that uh, all my links for everything, my Facebook page. Please like us on Facebook and share us. That would be great. I just want to widen our audience as much as possible. Um, please send in your stories. I will put your paranormal experiences. I just would love to hear. So I will put my email down at the bottom as well so you can email me your stories. Um, 
my child. He's just like, <laughs> um, what else? I will put down my Twitter page and my website, obviously, of course. Okay? So I will see you soon. And this is Jenna from Everyday Mystical. And stay creepy. All right? Talk to you later. Bye.